Norton is a powerhouse and an all-in-one security software, which makes it as efficient as it is intimidating to new users. But that's precisely why in this Norton antivirus tutorial, I'm gonna go through everything, including all of Norton's extras from scam detection and VPN to password management and dark web alerts. Beginner or not, just come join me. Let's crack Norton wide open. Oh, and if you don't have a subscription yet or you wanna upgrade, check the link in the description for an exclusive deal. First, beginners, pay attention. That's how to download Norton Antivirus. If you're on mobile or Mac OS, it's very easy. It takes a single click in your local app store. Depending on subscription, this will be either the only device you use or take one out of 10 slots available. As for everyone on Windows, download the installer from the provider's website and follow all the usual steps of the installation wizard. Pay attention here, as this is where you get to activate the cloud storage for your backups. It's included in all the plans, so activate it. All right, after the magic is done, you'll be left at the same stage as everyone else with a working app, which we get to launch right now. So as soon as you open the app and log in for the first time, you'll be greeted by this home screen. It's a massive upgrade from what Norton used to look like. And I find this page a perfect first step to start this Norton 360 antivirus tutorial. So my first recommendation after you launch the app is to go to the security tab. Here, Norton is gonna offer you a few different scan choices and I recommend running an initial full scan before everything else. This deep scan is gonna go through your system with like a fine tooth comb, and it can take up to an hour and a half, depending on how many files your system has. Now, that said, after this initial scan, you can run any other scan on demand. For instance, quick scan is easy to launch daily as it only goes through the most crucial and most vulnerable folders looking for known malware. Targeted scan is nice to run to check new USB drives or your download folder and new files. There's also a way to run your scans on startup, which pretty much catches malware as soon as the system boots up. So besides having these options available, I recommend setting up both auto scan and auto update to keep the best antivirus performance at all times. Okay, continuing with the Norton antivirus review, we're back to the security tab, looking at the smart firewall. So if you're a longtime PC user, you know that firewalls are already included in Windows and Mac OS. So what makes Norton's firewall any better? The answer is Norton's intrusion prevention system, an advanced scanner that detects and blocks malicious connections, unauthorized access, and third parties, and protects personal data in the process. This is not the only protection feature that works in the background for your benefit. Norton's Auto Protect is a multi-layered feature that monitors any incoming and outgoing files in real time, whether they are downloaded, transferred through a LAN connection, or from a USB cable. Auto Protect detects any malicious activity and the file responsible for it goes straight to the shadow realm. This real-time protection feature is turned on by default and in Norton's case, it surprisingly doesn't spend a lot of resources. But if you wanna disable it for some reason, go to settings and select the computer tab. Still, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Instead, I suggest you take a look at the description or scan this QR code for the best Norton deal. All right, of course, Norton is keeping up with the times by introducing AI into its feature lineup. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of forcing AI <laughs> just into everything, but Norton did find a really good way to implement AI's pattern recognition into its genie scam protection. This feature is a combination of many different parts. For instance, if you wanna know how to scan email for virus, Norton does that with safe email monitoring all emails for phishing, scams, and so on. SafeWeb does the same for websites that you visit. If you are unsure what's going on, AI-powered assistance is always available for consultation. That's cool. So Genie also includes additional deep fake protection, essentially fighting AI with AI. There are way too many AI-generated scams these days posing as real people, and people fall for these scams pretty routinely. So I'm glad to see that I can just go to the Genie UI and enable deep fake protection, which can notice signs of AI tomfoolery even during video calls. So all of those features can be enabled or disabled anytime through the dedicated Norton dashboard. And you get these features regardless of which plan you pick. Now, when it comes to the Norton password manager, which is also included in all Norton plans, we'll have to step away from the app. To get the password manager, you can either find the extension in Chrome or another browser of your choice, or download an app if you're setting up a mobile device. 
if you have ever used a password manager, there's really nothing confusing here, but if not, look closely. All right, so inside the Norton Password Manager, you can instantly generate a new strong password for any of your websites. Autofill them on any login attempt and even check existing passwords to ensure that there are no repeating or weak passwords left. In settings, you can also find how to use Norton Password Manager to import passwords from Google Chrome or other similar apps. I recommend doing that since they typically keep unprotected local copies of your passwords while Norton encrypts all passwords for safer storage. Honestly though, Norton's password manager is quite basic, but that also makes it extremely easy to use even for beginners. The same applies to Norton VPN, which is a separate app, much like Norton Password Manager. To access it, log into your Norton account on the provider's website and go to the My Subscriptions page. That's where you can go to Norton VPN and download the app if you are on Windows or Mac OS. Android and iOS users can instead download the app through their respective app stores. To begin with, Norton VPN does have a monthly quota, which is a bit underwhelming since most VPNs are completely unlimited. That said, Norton VPN comes included with all plans and it provides a safe way of using public Wi-Fi, accessing geo-blocked content and protecting your privacy. So it's not a bad extra for an already solid antivirus. One other such extra brings us back to the Norton antivirus app. It's dark web monitoring. Once enabled from the settings menu, this feature monitors the darkest corners of the web, looking for any data breaches or leaks containing your information. If found, Norton will just send you a notification and then it's up to you to create new passwords, at which point Norton's password manager comes in handy. All right, so this is pretty much everything for this Norton tutorial. Remember that with my best Norton deal from the description below, you can obtain all that protection with a huge discount. Thanks for watching my Norton antivirus tutorial. I hope Norton will help you stay safe in these treacherous times and make sure to like and subscribe if you wanna stay notified on any other cybersecurity apps. See you soon, bye.